Hello guys, welcome back. I uh, I have several wishes. And I may also be struck dead, let me explain. <laughs> Look, he's like, yeah. First we wish you all good health and laughter through all this. And secondly, we wish we could see everything that's going on behind the scenes because um I actually went back to bed today because and this is allergies. Don't please don't freak out. Um, I I went back to bed today because I was like, well, um, I'm tired. We need to prepare for the long haul. It's gonna be at least a couple of weeks, couple of months. We know that we've looked at other countries so far, and America has to be number one in everything it does. So you know, we gotta wait for a while. And, you know, Asmodeus and Bilal and company have been doing everything they can to engineer my old beliefs away from me. Which, you know, is fine. I had a lot of childish beliefs. God's not going to just snap his fingers in an instant. He would have at case one, right? Um, and I get up today, and I I've been feeling like Michael trying to get back in. <laughs> and Asmodeus being like, <laughs> and, and the other ones being like, <laughs> and you know, and you swear you can almost hear them snarling at each other in these arcane languages we can't speak. And look, he's there like his cute little fox eating popcorn. Mm, there's some good shit right here. Here, you want your popcorn? <laughs> and in the meantime, I get up. And the very first video in my feed is one of those It's a Miracle videos. And it's about having faith. And I'm like, okay, you know what? They seem to be the only Christians left that aren't running around freaking out like the world's on fire. And I, I understand that response, I do. I'm going to watch it. And as I'm watching it, I remember I took Hebrew scriptures. And the problem... They tell you is that before the Hebrew scriptures were written, God was very different. God wasn't anything he was in the Hebrew scriptures. In fact, people that worship the original concept of God would not recognize God in the Hebrew scriptures. The closest thing you could say to God before the scriptures were compiled was that he rode around the desert on a Harley. I'm like, oh, how did I, you know? <laughs> and I, that image popped into my head as I'm watching this. And I'm like, oh, dear. It's like the ex is outside on his Harley revving it. Like, hey, babe, come out and see me. Come be on Team God. And you can feel all the demons, all gods, whatever title you want to use, going like, <laughs> And it... I had, you know, as I had watched this thing, I said, all right, you're obviously trying to get my attention. You want to do something for me? End this, you know, end this. Keep people safe. Keep me safe, obviously, but keep everyone else safe, too. I said, end this, heal this, fix this country, because the clown's running it, sure can't. And I hear from Asmodeus, what did you just do? Oh, hush. What did you just do? I know you don't like me doing that, but you know what? People need help now. You want to be angry at me, you be angry at me. But he's obviously trying to get my attention. <laughs> oh, you be mad. <laughs> I had to grow up with this God in the Catholic Church. I earned the right to occasionally pray to him. <laughs> Back and, you know, it doesn't mean, by the way, I don't want you guys freaking out and thinking I'm going back to become Catholic or I'm undoing, you know, all the progress the demons have been trying to help me make. Um, but it does mean, look, uh, I'm a witch. A god came up to me and has obviously been demanding attention and St. Michael and company have been demanding attention. I'm like, you know what? You want to do something for me? You want to get my time? You want, want to get my worship? Start helping people. You know, sweeten the pot a little. Show me what you can do because in the video, She's asking her boyfriend who got, not boyfriend, husband, who, <laughs> it's not that guy's story, shut up, who got hurt to show them how powerful God is. I'm like, good, show us how powerful you are. Start curing people like that. Cure all the people in the ERs. Cure all the people that currently have it. 
I said, turn this thing around, we will all go to church. You know, if this all turns around, especially like if Jesus comes on all the cable stations and is like, hi, this is your Lord and Savior, we'd all go to church. So, the X has been coming around, the angels have been coming around, and I've been having demons go, <sighs> and I said, you know, it, it, it's, it's just, it's, it is what it is. I said, maybe he wants attention. No, I don't know. And the thing is, I said, one benefit I did get from working with him, and don't worry, this isn't going to become the Jesus channel, I swear, is that when I got up today, instead of worrying about myself and worrying about where the hell am I going to get food from, we've got food, but, you know, I ordered food over a week ago that still hasn't shipped. Um, instead of worrying about me, instead of jumping in and putting in yet another order because it might take a week or so to show and then maybe not being able to pay say a um garbage bill because she's still gotta pay them bills um i said you know we just have to hang tight and we have to have faith right now um and i said when I got up, because that thought popped in my head that, you know, instead of feeling sorry for myself and feeling worried about myself about where the hell am I going to get food, to, you know, pray that those people are safe, those people that still have to go to work every day, those people that still have to fill orders, those people that have to drive the trucks to ship it, those people that have to work in the mailroom or wherever they work to get it to you. And all the people in between, you know, the people that are still working at the factories, putting out food and all that other stuff. Those people deserve for prayers in love, too. Yes, we should be making heroes out of first responders, doctors, all that. But there are still countless people going to work, especially in factories, keeping the country running, keeping the world running, and, you know, putting themselves in harm's way to help other people. So... And I'm not saying that to paranoid, make you guys paranoid or scare anyone. Um, chances are every company is taking as many precautions as possible. They're all going to make it through this okay. But I was like, if you're asking me to pray for people, yeah, I'm praying for them. And I've got all this. <laughs> Except for Loki. Loki's like, he's some good shit right here. And we wanted the ability to watch the angels and demons fight. Because this, this feels like it's going to be a version of West Side Story without the music. Just fighting and cursing each other in tongues we wish we could understand. And, you know, it's kind of funny because I said, you know, I was almost in a hair's breadth of a biblical understanding of the demons yesterday. And then... That kind of passed, and I went back to seeing them as old gods, but they they definitely don't like these angels coming into their territory, and they definitely don't need God here, and they're not getting like... <laughs> so, if I get struck down by one of the gods, you know why? And I was like, you know what? I don't care. It It might not do me best... On the channel it might not do me best everything else because I was really trying to work towards just working with our gods and letting the concept of God and the angels and saints and everything go but if they're gonna keep approaching me I'm like hey I'm not stupid the world needs help right now if they want to help hey you know help I will I will find a stupid cyber church and I will go okay you can't go to a church right now because all the Catholic churches are closed and the Methodist churches are closed and Latter-day Saints, even those Fruit Loops closed their churches. So, <laughs> so you know, you, you can't go to church right now. I said, look, you, you want me in church, you just give me a sign. I will find some stupid cyber church and I will go. And this might set me back forever with the demons. And Asmodeus might go off in a royal huff. But I, I think the rest don't care. Asmodeus got upset. I don't think Satan gives two dams. I don't think Lucifer cares either. It's just like, they're like, well, you're being smart. You're using what you can get. So I, I figured I would share that with you. And we were doing so well, guys. I was making so much spiritual progress and then God shut up. <laughs> this is the story of my life. So if you guys like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.